Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. I just want to do a quick recap here of some common time intelligence patterns. Now this is this is quite a relevant one because recently we, we re-released our, our Mastering DAX calculations course at Enterprise DNA Online. And these are covered in, in a lot of detail there around how to utilize these functions, many different ways that you can um, compare uh, and contrast these functions to you know your data sets etc um, and also how you can branch out from these functions and find like really um, compelling insights uh, especially over time related data but I just want to do a, a quick review just to give you a sort of overview of like how to think about these particular functions and how you could um, utilize them to answer some of the things that you might be be looking to find solutions for so I'm just gonna write these out so so the first the, these are sort of the key the key things to keep in mind so there's there's aggregations aggregations um, time intelligence functions for one okay aggregations I gotta learn, gotta learn how to spell aggregations and then we have um, and the, these are things like month to day year to date quarter to date then we have um, we have time comparisons, right? And this is where we might want to compare versus a previous month or parallel period or date, uh, like uh, versus any time period. We want to compare one period to another, right? And then we have information functions. And these are things like um, what was the opening balance of the month? What was the ending balance of the month? What was the ending balance of the year? Those, the, the, all, all those types of things, right? So let's just let's just create a couple um, just so you can have a look, and I'm going to show you how you can really scale this type of analysis. Right? You only you only really need to understand how a few of these work, and then you can you, you then you understand it all. Okay, that's a key thing to remember because a lot of it just has to do with understanding the context in which you place your formulas, and then just retrieving the correct formula for whatever you know, um, whatever calculation you're looking to complete. Okay. And so what I would uh, ordinarily do here as well is I would probably create another measure group as well um, because what I like to do is is I like to separate out as, as soon as I'm sort of branching out into a subset of calculations like time intelligence, I like to create a different um, measure group for that. And so I just went into data there and I created a, a table with basically nothing in it. And then I'm just going to place a... Um, a measure in it and then I can turn it into a measure table okay so it's come down here so what I'm going to do let's just create a really simple um, time comparison calculation right so I'm going to go revenue I'm going to call this revenue last year and I'm going to go calculate total revenue because I still want to calculate my revenue and then I'm going to go use date add so I've showcased data a couple a couple of times it's a really versatile function you can also use same period last year if you're looking at last year's results but you know say for instance i want to go back one quarter right well check out check out this i can actually select day month quarter or year so i can select quarter here i can go minus two i can go minus three i can go minus ten if i want you can even go plus one plus two plus plus three etc so there's so much versatility with this particular time comparison um, function and then if I drag that in, we better actually compare this versus some actual data. So now I'm comparing, um, that's not revenue last year, that's really revenue last quarter, isn't it? So I'll just go last quarter like that. Okay, so I could then just confirm this as a measure group. Okay, and so now, so very quickly, I've utilized data. Add. So let's, and, and then, um, you know, you could you could obviously get many different variations on that, right? So that's a really simple comparison. What about an aggregation? Say we want to um, complete, you know, a something month to date or year to date. Let's let's just do one, and then I'm convinced you'll be able to do them all. Okay. So I'm just going to go revenue month to date, and I'm just going to go calculate because we still want to calculate our revenue, right? But we want to calculate it in a different context and that's what dates mtd allows us to do right it allows us to just add in our dates table or date column and then all of a sudden we have an aggregation okay so you see how that works and so now we have a simple almost like cumulative total really 
that will reset at the start of every single month. Now, you know how I said, if you know how to do one, you can do them all. Well, all you have to do if you want to change this into a yearly is just change that to year to date versus month to date or quarter to date. And um, it's a simple switch around and all of a sudden you've got many different other ways that you can look at your data. Okay, so that's that's aggregations for you. And then information, okay. Let's, let's create another one here and let's have a look at the opening balance of the month, okay. So opening opening balance okay so I'm going to go calculate total revenue opening balance per month actually I think I think I don't even need calculate here actually so that's my bad I can just put um, total revenue and then I can put my dates column and then I don't even need a filter there I can just go like that and then I can drag this in and so you see here that this is the opening balance of the month. This this actual result here is the result from the 31st of um, the 10th, 2017. So you see here, 401. And so this is perfect for like inventory management or um, or or financial management, etc. There's a, there's a, there's a lot of really good uses for this particular um, for this particular metric because what we can do here is we can say, okay, this was the opening balance, and then this was what happened throughout throughout the year based on or throughout the month based on our um, month to date calculation or our aggregation calculation okay and so there's actually a few variations of opening balance um, opening balance month it's just a matter of having a play around and, and understanding which ones you can use so you can um, all you have to do inside of the formula bar is you could actually just type in balance right start typing in balance and you've got closing balance balance month closing balance quarter year and then opening balance month so as, as i was saying if you can just understand how to write these really really simply like this there's so much versatility in these time intelligence functions okay so that's basically what i wanted to cover i wanted to do just a really quick deep dive here um around content that was covered in in depth in the time intelligence um section in the mastering dax course which has just recently been re-released um, entirely new um, set of videos and um, and uh, all the, all from you know from all the way from beginning to advanced concepts uh, in DAX and this is a this is a big section inside of there because you know a lot of the analysis that you're li very likely doing is time related right and just being able to you know, go and grab the particular function you need and throw it into the formula where it's appropriate to get the answer to get the right insights is so so important time intelligence simplifies your the functions simplify your formulas that you need to write inside of power bi just like immensely it's it's crazy so you just have to just go through and understand uh which ones are are um, relevant to your situation and implement them okay and a really good resource to download for that potentially if you want to just get a quick list of all of these time intelligence functions is the dax formula reference guide uh, from enterprise dna online if you go to the resources section on our website you'll find it there and you can download it it's, it's totally free and so that will list all of these out for you so you can it's a very good quick reference guide if you need to if you need to um, um you yeah, just see what what functions are out there okay and i highly recommend doing that Okay, that's all I want to cover here. Um, good quick overview. Hopefully, you've got a lot more, you got a lot clearer idea around time intelligence and how quickly you can implement this stuff if you set up things, set up things really well in your models. Okay, definitely throw the video a like. Um, as always, really appreciate it, and um, don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA um, TV. Plenty of great uh, content coming out around um, you know data and analytics so so really want to get that to you when when it, when it uh, is published okay all the very best